intro. And welcome to another evening, morning, or afternoon, depending where you are in the World Wide Web, of adventure with the Burnish Band here on Roleplay Games. And I am your host, GM Dave. I want to say first and foremost, welcome to the stream, one and all. Hey! Hey! All right, so... A couple of things before we start our adventure tonight. First things first, please, if you have a chance, go on over to Kickstarter and check out Arcanus, Codex of the Mind, the complete guide to psionics. You can use this in your home campaign in Arcanus or in any D&D 5e game. This book will be available once the Kickstarter... And the good news is the Kickstarter has been funded. Yeah! Now it's all about hitting those stretch goals. So make sure you check out Codex of the Mind on Kickstarter from Paradigm Concepts. Next, speaking of Paradigm Concepts, I want to say, hey, Paradigm Concepts, thank you for letting us use your materials for your our stream. We enjoy the source material so far, and we're going to continue to highlight, enjoy it, and tell everyone they should go and play Arcanus as well. So... Thank you very much, Paradigm Concepts. Next, whew, got two more, I swear, two more. I want to give a shout out to Sirenscape, who will be providing us with the music you will be hearing this evening, afternoon, or morning, no matter where you are in the World Wide Web, on Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube. Had to throw in that plug as well. And lastly, I want to thank Hero Forge because through Hero Forge, we are allowed to have some artwork for our characters. So Hero Forge... Thank you very much. All right. Now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and and roll that intro to the world of Arcanish, Arcanus, the Shattered Empires. The rise and fall of empires drives Arcanus. Their petty dramas played out against the backdrop of civilizations. Peaceable halflings, Insector de Sori and Ilhuan, they were all of them wiped out by the unstoppable force of reptilian Sethragor, whose magic twisted the elemental lords to forge the Elori. Elf-like children of nature, enslaved by Sethragor and might, abused by their cruel creators, the Elori revolted. They carved out a time of peace and order on Onara, a time when gods walked the earth. But peace is not the story of Arcanus. Ancient ships brought the humans to Onara. They slew the Elori gods all but one. The human kingdoms rose and fell, and a dark human power grew in a mandragore. The sorcerer king, who drew magic and power to him with unnatural might. In his arrogance, a curse was laid. The infernal hordes spewed forth across the world, crushing human, dwarf, and Elori in their wake, rising to meet them, a last alliance of humanity, the Koryani Empire, forged in a time of legend. But the age of legends is long past, and the Koryani Empire is fading. The Elori of the Vast would return. The Sorcerer King of the Mandragore sends black ships to capture all with arcane potential. Sethragor gathers power in dark machinations, and the human nations point swords at one another. Now, the mortal future is at stake. Heroes must choose the greatest good as often as the lesser of two evils. Arcanus, the world of shattered empires. Okay. <clears throat> Where we last left our heroes, they had com mostly completed the job they were sent out to do. They have stopped the evil harvester from taking a Koryani boy to the Isle of Yamandragor and successfully retrieved him. Upon exiting the, the dark ship, the Ravager, the heroes are greeted by one Count Albert Val Olsen, who basically laid out an offer to one if they could and they would be paid for their uh, for this job. To go to the fair, the city of Fairdlau 
and speak to Duke Victor Val Holren and basically inform him of everything that has happened um, in Yarek, where the black ship of your Mandragore tried to kidnap the boy. So, just a quick information mission shouldn't take much time. However, before you the heroes can do that, they have to fulfill their obligation to return one um, uh, Koriani child back to his parents. So, the Milindesians have taken their leave. They have set the ship out to sea and have burned it because nobody wants that Yamandra Gorin filth on their port. So to my heroes and friends, you are there with a boy named Cassius Valtensen who is latched on to uh, one Theodora. What would you yeah. all like to do? Is this head still buried in my chest? Ah. Well, yeah, it was just a little bit. <laughs> Puberty is a thing. Yeah, yeah. Puberty is definitely a thing, and I'm. I mean, what can I say? I'm not wearing any armor. Who needs that? I mean, technically, I think you're wearing a teenage boy's face for armor. At this I mean, point. technically, that's kind of what's going on. Sedes has opinions. <laughs> Sedes has opinions. I love to hear Sedes's opinions about this. I right, say, like... we eat him, tell the father that he was killed, and we collect the money. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tres, no, that's uh, but no, that's not how we do work. Remember, oh. this is job. Yeah, job. Yes. Tres, this job. Yes. job pay job. for kill. Yes, yes, yes. Kill him and then get no, paid. no. Tres. Pay for kill. Ah, yes. Bad man's. Yeah, that's yeah. Him. Kids bad. We kill him, eat him, and then move on. Theodora, and like have take... lab. Theodora takes the boy's shoulders, turns him around, so he faces Sedes. <laughs> He's like, Sedes? Yes. This is who we're protecting. Oh, Protect, hi. not yeah, eat. No, no, that's terrible. Wait and then, and then she, she just kind of pats the boy's head and says, don't worry, Sedes is just very protective of me. Agreed. I'll eat you just like I ate the commander in our third battalion when everyone fell asleep. Did... Do... Is Wait, he being serious? You? What? No, that was that was Dragonoid, like I said. I said, said. At time. Is he? Or is he being serious? Or is this what? that like Legionnaire dark humor thing I've heard about? A little, yeah, bit, of we'll a little bit of both. Really close to him, be like, ha 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 ha. Yes. It, it's uh, yeah. It's definitely the. Uh, legionnaire sense of humor, boy. Definitely humor. It was very funny, right? As a little, little bit of drool drops out of his chin. <laughs> oh, so uh, never... gonna give him a cookie. Oh, a cookie. <laughs> oh, can I have really a cookie? No! You, you, don't, you don't want those cookies, kid. Trust me. We call them cookies. It's actually a lot closer to a rough ground flour and water mixture and that jammy filling is mostly beef paste it's like a tripe burger <laughs> it's the fanciest dog biscuit you've ever had yeah pretty much yeah. stuff with basically Meat what's pate. cookies for stress um, also, just so everyone's aware, where you can actually access the stream bot, I've added a new command. It's exclamation point codex, and you will get the link for the um, you will get the link for the new codex available under Arcanus. Hey! Thank you very much for that. Of course. Good boy, Sides. Curious about curious about this. Codex? So this boy is just kind of looking at all of you. So you're here to rescue yeah. me and take me home, right? Yes. And you're just just having like a good rye out of me with uh, your Ceresin friend, right? Oh, yes. No, we're definitely going to take you home. Don't worry. Okay. 
That's good. I thought he was serious about wanting to eat me for a moment. No, 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 no. She, uh, Theodora gives Ceres a very, a very much a look of warning. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm. <clears throat> I am in your capable hands and will await you to take me home. All right. Well, how about hey. we? I mean, technically, we had that writ to get us back. Uh, we probably need to go find a temple or something. I don't know. Theodora, this is all your thing, talking with all them mm -hmm. religious folks with all the morals and everything. Well, Shouldn't it you... be like, don't we have to like just go back to where we were and that guy who like uh, welcomed us should be at the portal? Correct. You have okay. to go back to the town of Luchek. That was out of character. In character. <laughs> you okay there, Jen? Oh, yeah. I just had to reset my camera's focus. Oh, you're good. Uh, in yeah. character, Theodora said, well, I'm pretty sure we just need to try and make our way back to the portal, and the gentleman who welcomed us should be there to send us back. Gentlemen. Right, Theodora. Gentlemen. What? <laughs> I'm trying to be polite. I don't know. Here. All of your weirdos in their robes and their suspicious apparel. Hey, last at least... time we ran into those moral folks in their religious robes, I ended up stabbing a guy in an alley. But that was not not actually a matter of the fall uh, the following. Okay, there is a big difference, and you respect those who actually follow their gods. <laughs> those are just well, heretics. They do. <laughs> Those are just the the, the the those are just heretics. They deserve to bleed on the floor. And, uh, <laughs> speaking of things bleeding on the floor, Theodora that, that dwarf's still there. Oh, the dwarf <laughs> is yeah, he's there, dead. Just bang. didn't we loot him? Yes. Yeah. And you, a few of the guards did remain because they're basically mm -hmm. on cleanup duty for the bodies. Right. So you also still have access to the horses you rode into town on. That's right. This that this time they actually survived. Why wouldn't In they survive? Time. Horses are usually the first thing to be targeted. At least in my experience. Theodora, we, we probably need to ask a couple of very specific questions about things that have happened to our <laughs> supply lines during a last campaign. And I would really like you to explain what happened to Punchline. I loved that horse. <laughs> it's not my fault. The goblin got there first. Oh, oh, blame the goblin. Is that what we're doing these days? That's racial profiling, Theodora, and we've talked about it. But Seth still wants to know how Goblin got inside of the horse. <laughs> <laughs> it was very confusing. Similar to the way that the <clears throat> Goblin got inside of Seres. Hmm. The horse ate him? Horses are carnivores. Seres did not know. I will go congratulate them on their change. I've always thought Punchline was carnivorous. Never had proof. <laughs> I mean, that horse could bite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All we, right. we get we get back up on the horses <laughs> and we start to make our way. Are the horses okay? Because we kind of rode them pretty hard here. You rode them pretty hard. They, you, they've had some time to like rest and recuperate a little bit. And I'm sure mm -hmm. you kind of, you know, you pat them down, you give them some feed and water, so. Right. Allowing them to just take a quick breather before you hop back on and head back over to Luchek. Okay. Who's the boy riding with? Not Ceres, because he will <laughs> eat the child. I think we know who the boy is going to want to ride with. <laughs> okay. okay. okay I think you with. chose a different na uh, <laughs> verb than I would have chosen, Nico. Or is that a preposition with yeah, with is a preposition, right? It's one of those grammar things. That... Uh, this yeah. is getting complicated. I didn't go to enough school for this. 
Where's the horse? <laughs> Everyone gets on their horses. I suppose the child is riding with the cleric. Oh. Who does the child want to ride with? We know who the child wants to ride with. I want to hear Dave say it. <laughs> the 14-year-old Cassius Valtensen is very grateful to the, his needs being met by the cleric of Larissa. So he would not <laughs> mind riding on her horse alongside her. The question is, is he sitting in front or in back? Is he old enough to have his needs met? <laughs> also, he's 14 year olds and royalty. He knows how to ride his own horse. Can he? Can we like requisition a horse for him, by the way? No, because you only came with four horses. Yeah, we only came Good. with four horses. And then to the Sedat, middle of the you know how to run. That's uh, true. I run. Come, good Sedat, boy, horse. <laughs> um, wh which horse am I getting on? That one. The one that's actually a horse. Don't get on the lizard. I wasn't planning on it. I don't know. Everybody's been making some very strange and questionable decisions recently. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's been a long day. Really All right. We still, we still haven't gotten a long rest, correct? Correct. All right, I just Mount, need to double check. Mounting <clears throat> on the horse... You all turn them around, and you just follow the way back that you originally came from. It, you take a little bit more time because you're not no longer at a breakneck speed. You're not at, in a chase. So you take your time a little bit, and you get to the town of Luchek within a few hours, about three to four hours, about three hours this time because you're not riding the horse as hard. When you get there... You are greeted once again by Aldis, <clears throat> who sees you coming and sees the boy. And you see, like, a great weight just appears to have been lifted off his shoulders. And he hails you. Hey. Just the guy we could trust, correct? Yes, he was the guy who also gave you the horses in the first place. Right, okay. As we come to a stop, Ceres falls to the ground. Ha! <laughs> <sighs> Oh, are you Long okay? Time. Are you okay, my scale friend? No, I think I may die if I don't get lamb and maybe glass of rum or brandy. <laughs> Two glasses of brandy and lamb. I feel terrible. I, Long I don't run. Ceres, I mean, you're looking a little pale there for yourself. <clears throat> maybe make it a full bottle of brandy. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, the pain. It hurts so much. <laughs> Only brandy and lamb can cure. Says. All, Do not all this, put the lamb in brandy. All this clears <laughs> his throat and says, Oh, it would appear that your Ceresian companion really has taken up some Coriani ways, especially Legionnaire ways, I take it. What do you mean our Ceresian companion? He's a Legionnaire, sort of. <clears throat> yeah, I got I got that tattoo right here. And so that's will point to the crest that's on his that's like tattooed into his scales. How did they get the you, ink? You don't want to know. I don't know about the magic, but I assume magic was involved. Ceres is a good boy, Ceres. Fair enough. I Were die. you I see that Cassius is with uh the young Larissa here. I take it you were able to stop the harvester? Yeah. That was our objective, and we managed to fit to complete it. But have you stopped him for good? Yes. Don't worry. He is very much taken care of. It was Denner and the wine drinker. I'm sure the name means something to you. And he won't be harvesting anything anytime soon. This brings me... <clears throat> this brings me great satisfaction to know that he will no longer hurt anyone of who has been gifted. Thank you very much. And if I may, um, do, would you like to stay for a little, for a moment, get some food before we send you on your way? I suppose that would be the best, the best way to go, just in case. All right. Let's say that this is a, um, short a rest. short rest. So whatever you billies you get back from a short rest, if you want to recover any um, hit points using a hit die, you may do so. Um, he walks you into 
the inn. The innkeeper kind of looks at all of you very suspiciously, especially Ceres. Hmm. You know what? I stare at the uh, at the innkeeper for a minute, just kind of stand stock still across the uh, across the bar from him. So that's will turn say, around and look at the guard behind him and be like, huh? look, "He doesn't like you very much. You should stay outside." He he's not a demon, a Serician demon, right? No. What? I. I just, I remember he was trying to cast some sort of demonic spell to let, to make me to let him into this place after that vile hell beast was out there. I thought him and the vile hell beast were in cahoots. No. No, he was probably temporarily possessed by a demon of hunger. You can easily satiate them with lamb sandwiches. Speaking of time. lamb sandwiches with extra bread, um, do you happen to have extra loaves of carb? Uh, um, yes, I, I, I do have some bread. Unfortunately, ah. we don't have lamb, but we have goat. That's fine. Extra carb. Okay. What's he a carb? A triple decker goat sandwich where you do a slice of bread and then a couple of slices of roast goat, another slice of bread, some more roast goat, a little bit of mayonnaise and another slice of bread. Yeah. <laughs> he writes all that down and has just the look of okay. Um if you don't have that much goat, honestly, like you can stack pretty much anything in there and tell him it's a triple decker goat sandwich. It'll be fine. Very Chew well. Leather, lettuce, you know. Heck, you could use old pajamas and he probably won't. Notice. I won't fall for the wood thing though again. You put wood in there once and I know you did. You say you didn't. And it was <laughs> a piece of driftwood. I know it was. I told you, it was absolutely oak jerky. It was very tender though. Okay, and the guy turns and runs into the kitchen. And you hear like, <laughs> coming from the other side. Alda <laughs> says, here, let, let's all have a seat. And I'll ask one of the, the serving women for some fresh mead. <clears throat> so I have to interrupt here for for an aside. Shout out to Marlon Gallo, who uh, apparently <laughs> made lamb chops in honor of Ceres tonight. Yes. Hey! hey! Lamb chops. Congratulations, Ceres. You're going to start having a following. Pog, yep. I want to start my own religion. It'll be called Ceres. Followers of the lamb. Ceres is gonna be the is gonna be the decider of what we eat from now on. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aldis sits down and he asks you to regale uh, the tale. And do you like embellish or do you just get straight to the point for the story? Oh, you, you always the tale. Ceres puts his on the table. Ceres, what? He asked for the tale. Uh, of course, there's a little bit of embellishment, but we do kind of just, you know, tell him what he needs to know. Okay. Truly. I, I never imagined that someone would be waiting for you on the road as well, but it must have been some of those masked people, probably with the harvesters. Now, I, I do remember, uh, I believe your name was Adita. You seemed very knowledgeable for about the Yamandragoran harvesters. More so than I would imagine from a legionnaire who is not gifted. How do you know so much about them? I have a passing interest. Everybody needs a hobby in the legion. You know, find things to read up on, research, you know, whatever keeps you going in the, uh, on the march. I uh, <clears throat> picked harvesters. Seemed really interesting. You know, started talking with a couple of guys. Next thing I know, I was ordering books back from Corian. Huh. Give me one second. It's always good to have a specialty in terms of knowledge gathering. These are great, you know. <laughs> Days on forced march. Anything to keep you entertained. <laughs> 
saw that one that he rolled, and I'm like, oh, okay, good. <laughs> he says, you know, don't well, judge him on the roll. So, no, it's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's hilarious. If I, may, if I may be very candid, it seems like you also have a great dislike for them as well, correct? I mean, should I like harvesters? No. Just Let me look of, that look of who would. So he reaches like into the side and he pulls out from a satchel a book. He's like, maybe you might be able to use this. It was from another associate uh, that I knew long ago. And maybe it may prove valuable to you. It has some information on harvesters and ways to combat them. And if you potentially are gifted, it can give you an idea of how to channel those gifts in order to fight them. And he hands you uh, a book. Harvesters and ways to combat them. Very, uh, very creative title there, Mr. Albus, sir. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I was looking for some light reading on the way back to Corian. Well, we are a very straightforward people here in Millendir. You got any peg leg guys named Larry? What? What? So, you guys sit back, you enjoy the meal. The innkeeper does his absolute best to construct this lamb sandwich, <laughs> I'm sorry, this goat sandwich monstrosity. And to none of your surprise, Ceres just, you know, opens his mouth at a, ah. kind of looks like you could swear he maybe dislocated his jaw a little bit before he started stuffing that thing down his uh, mouth. Mm. You should see uh, what happens when we order a whole turkey. <laughs> what? That is very true. Uh, n nothing. Uh, Teres has a good appetite. Yeah. Yeah. Teres may say that I am... Never said this before, but at the moment, I probably might not be able to finish two more. <laughs> well... I see that you are now fed. You have drink in you. Allow me to escort you back to the Ensharan Gate. I mean, no, no naps, no... So they no said he could probably not finish two more, but he could definitely yes. finish one more. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I imagine you wanted to get back to Cor Coriani as soon as possible, and you're probably just... Ten minutes from that now. Hey guys, I think the GM is giving us a hint. <laughs> what? I, a I don't hint? know. It's, it's it's kind of hard to read. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. I mean, if we want if we want lamb, we can always get for we can always get lamb for Ceres where we originally were. We can go what back to that tavern to and rest. Didn't. Us. So that's in the kitchen asking for a ML LL LMT to go. LMT to go? You mean yeah, a lamb, you mean mutton, a, and tomato. You mean a GMT? Lamb, no. Mutton. A lamb, mutton, and a tomato. No, so you're going to get... Between lamb and mutton. You're going to get a goat, a greatest of all time sandwich. Ah, a GMT. So, you are... You leave the inn... And you walk over to the kind of dilapidated temple of Anshar. And you were escorted to the, the portal where the gentleman who you first met, who greeted you when you arrived at the temple, is waiting right beside it. Hey. And he says, welcome back. I th were you successful on your mission? Oh, yes, we were very, we managed to stop those who tried to cause chaos and ill will and do away with them. Praise be to uh, the Thorn Mother. 
I am glad that you are all safe. I are you ready what to? God, that was. Uh, Anchar. Anchar. No there role required. Go. I'm like it starts with an A. <laughs> no, like <laughs> too many systems. Yes, too many, too many worlds. Not even systems. Yeah, tell me also about that. it. Ursula, get away. <clears throat> All right. So he steps back and he starts his incantation to activate the portal. And before hmm. you know it, it just explodes. <sighs> and you hear the great sound and rush of wind. And the you can hear the man scream, It is now ready! Go ahead and step through! And I hope our paths cross again and you are in good favor. Alright, so that's gonna go through first? Yes. Yep. <clears throat> also, Cat. Adita is going to uh, put her arm around the boy's shoulders and walk <laughs> through with him. That's what that's what Theodore was gonna go to, and then like, Adita beat him to it. <laughs> well, one could be on one shoulder, one could be yep. on the other. Yep. yep. We'll just we'll, you know what this kid's gonna walk through with a lady on each arm, just to, like. <laughs> <walk through. laughs> Young man, you can tell this story well into your twenties. And people will still think well of you. <laughs> he holds his head up high as he marches through the portal. And I take it, Nico, you will be the last one to walk through? Yep. All right. Stepping through the gate of Anshar, you are propelled many leagues back to the Empire. Expecting to meet the alert members of the Legion of Grim Lamentation, you are surprised to see an attractive woman and a distinguished looking man both wearing Koryani togas with a golden trim. The boy rushes into the woman's arm and the man advances towards you. I was told that a resolution to a personal problem would appear here at the chapel of Anshar, but I could scarcely hope to believe that my son would be returned to us so quickly. I am Senator Tenzin Balin, and you have my undying gratitude. And he reaches his hand out to, let's start off with Nico. Okay. And he wants to basically shake the hands of each and every one of you. Even Ceres, there is no pause. There is just nothing but warmth coming from this gentleman, showing that he is eternally grateful to you all. Also, as another way of showing my appreciation... You will be paid your reward that I was told to hand to you. And I want to give you this to each of you. And it seems like a bodyguard kind of gentleman comes by with several lacquered uh, wooden boxes. And he hands Ooh. one to the senator. The senator takes the box, opens, and presents to you a very well-crafted silver dagger with an emblem which probably represents his household. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. And if you are ever in Koryani, and if you need assistance, please let me know you have my favor, and again, my internal gratitude. And you are Thank each- Thank you so much, Senator Tennis Ball String. I love you. <laughs> and you are each handed um oh god what i was about to say <laughs> we, were, we were each handed like a thousand and, uh, gold this ball string was going to send us gold you are each given a hundred gold mm. each getting a finely crafted silver dagger and a little something extra you are each given a potion of cure wounds as hey. another thank you that's actually really fucking good uh, right, uh, cure, cure light, light wounds. wounds, just cure regular wounds. Cure light wounds. Cure light. Wounds. Wait, I'm sorry. It's a potion of cure wounds. It's the first one because I got to remember this is a 5e adventure now, not so third. Potion of healing. Potion of healing. Thank yeah. you. Again, within the past seven to eight days, I have played in six different gaming systems. Yeah, I'm I don't surprised. Know how the hell you do that? 
not right. very well, to be honest. <laughs> but he does it better than I do. All right, and it's oh. a ten cents, uh, basically a ten cent silver dagger because it has his crest on it. I'm guessing. Ten cent Balin's uh, crested silver dagger. Okay, got it. A toast to the GM. I agree. Uh, Riddle, uh, Sores stopped being hit upside the head because it kept hurting everyone's hand after too long. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but we did start using folded paper fans, which was a lot more effective as a deterrent. Yeah, he really, or, or, you know, Theodore's, you know, steel fan when he was very bad. Yes. Okay, but that was just the one time, and we promised that we wouldn't do that again because... We ended up having to carry that lizard around <laughs> in a little sling for like a week after that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God he grows quickly because, man, my back was aching. Senator Tenson Balin takes his leave, bows to each of you again, and as well as his, what appears to be his wife, bows as well to all of you. And the kid gives you kind of a little Coriani salute. Mm -hmm. Like, thank you, Legionnaires. And they scored it out. Hey. <clears throat> Except that it's Aditas. So what I meant was, go with honor, boy. He nods his head to you and walks. And the Ansharn priest looks at you. Is there anything else I can be of assistance of? I love Theodora. That seems like you. <laughs> Maybe later. I believe we have to. I believe it's probably best if we find a place to uh, rest for the evening, considering all we've been through. It's kind of eyes, Adida, still covered in blood from being down. Well, so they don't need... need anything, but I say that we definitely need some more lamb and some uh, some what is it called? The one that you can blow fire with if you drink it often enough. What? I mean, brandy. I, brandy, stress. But I was more concerned with, hey, Nico. Huh? Did, did Theodora just make an assignation with a priest? <laughs> I think so. I, I, like, that's new to me. I, the, she I mean, said later. I what knew did she, she was, later you know, Larissan, but I didn't think she was, you know, Larissan. So this is going to join in with Adita and be like, Adita, what ass in my nation mean? <laughs> no, Ceres, assignation. Ass in my ah. nation is when you bring a bunch of donkeys across the border. We talked ah, about that. Okay. That's illegal, remember? Yes, yes, yes. No, yeah. no, no. 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 So will you Donkeys be needing to use the border the... bat? Yes, will... yes, 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 yes. Will you be needing to use the portal again? The Ancharan priestess asked Theodora. Not at this moment. We may need it in the future, however. Very well. You have the Where's senator's the... blessing, so if you would like to use this portal, we can send you to another location. That is very kind of you. Thank you very much. Okay. So I take it you guys are off once again. You are now in Coriani and the heart of the Empire. What would you like to do while in Rome? Okay, first off, we're gonna I think food and drink is necessary, but also I need bullets. <laughs> I, have feeling, I have a feeling I need ammo. <laughs> GM Dave, I want to find a small like street side shrine. To one of the small gods. Um, I specifically I want to see if I can find like a small street side shrine to Dasani, the god of bullets. <laughs> there are no heret heretical uh, statues within the temple district of the Koriani Empire. If you wish to say a prayer to the spirit, the hinterland spirit. Uh, Dasan Dasani, you can do so on your own time. <laughs> oh, that's that's fine. I actually, I'm gonna pick up a handful of gravel from the street and pick through it until I find 
three perfectly round stones. Um, and Adita holds them between her hands and says a quick prayer to Dasani, him of the bullets. Bless our firearms. Bless the rifles. Bring unto us the bullets of true seeking. This is going to be a thing, and I love it. All right. So, you guys exit the temple district. Um, Theodore, you mentioned that you would like to pick up some uh, blast powder and shot, correct? Correct. All right. You can do so. You can find a local shop here within uh, the Empire that can provide that. Um, hey. There is a cap as to how much you can have on your person at any given point in time. Okay. Um, you can also purchase 10 shots for hmm. five gold pieces. Oh, hell yes. Uh, how many, what is the cap on how much we're allowed to have? Let me double check that. Meanwhile, what does everybody else need? We got three. We got three people with firearms. We need bullets. <laughs> I yes, I need bullets, and I would like to try to find a small, approximately twelve to twenty ounce bottle of crystal clear water. Uh, sure, you can find some crystal clear water, no problem. Wonderful. And you can <laughs> get that for just like two like copper pieces. Us. Oh. Okay, thank you. Yes, I, I put that aside for later. Uh-oh. For prayers. <laughs> yeah, uh. it's, it is a religious <laughs> offering, maybe. Let's say for All now, Theodora, the cap is 30. 30? Okay. And it's five... Uh... How many bullets did everyone use? I use three. I used seven. You used how many? Seven? Seven. Okay. Damn! I'm... Yeah, that's why I'm like, we need to get bullets. I don't know how yep. many bullets everyone has. Uh, I'm at 18. So I can get up to 30 with just... Like, 10 gold. Well, how much gold is it? Five for 10? Correct. Okay. I'm going to do math. People figure out what, what they're doing. <laughs> so this is going right. to tug on Nico's shirt. What's up, Ceres? How do I make lamb out of these coins? Okay. We've had we've had these lessons before, Ceres. Okay, I'm paying attention this time, I swear. Really? No. Okay, okay. that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> so... Gold, money. Ah, ah, uh -huh. ah, you give that to the tavern ah. keepers. They give you lamb. Oh, okay, I'll take the bag and I'll go give it to the tavern keepers. No, so no, 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 Guns of this <laughs> man. Can't no. you keep an eye on him? So, 100%, by the way, uh, go ahead and give yourself another 100 gold Mars. So, this doesn't keep gold or monies. I mean, that's okay. fair. Yeah, yeah I like, I, I can't imagine Sodas <laughs> actually being in charge of his own coin. That is the equivalent of giving your dog a credit card. Yeah, it really <laughs> <there's> a, <laughs> it, it kind of is. He has no concept of these things. Like, it doesn't... In the Legion, he, everything was provided for him. He killed things. We're out of the Legion. He has no concept for money or things or... I have a feeling I'm going to need a healer's kit. Can I get that when I get my bullets? Yes, Riddle. He is just like a very large, violent child. Yes, uh, yes, you may, Theodora. Uh, actually, in the same uh, shop where you can purchase weapons, there is a general store <laughs> right next to it for all Perfect. adventure needs. Great. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna pick up a few like sundry items <laughs> while I'm out. Did we ever make a determination along, by the way on the buckler? Along with like forty bullets. A yeah, buckler. A buckler rule, GM Dave. 
I yeah, buckler. Can Tresk use the buckler? Yes, I've actually, for you people who are all dex based, you can purchase a buckler. Um, I'll give you a price for it in just a moment. And it'll provide you a plus one bonus to your armor class. And it straps onto your forearm. Hog. Because bucklers don't really exist in 5e, but I personally love them. So, yeah. Anyone who wants a buckler, it'll be uh, five gold pieces for a buckler. Nice. Hey. I'm assuming at yes. some point that S will see a buckler and like tug on Nico. Like, I want that. You want that? Yeah, okay. that right there. All right. So, Dave, you said it was five gold? Five gold for a regular steel buckler. All right, so Ceres. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna count to five. You remember okay. how to do that, right? <laughs> yes, I got this. Is my good part. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna pull a handful of coins out. All so, right. Hold your hand out. Ah, there it is. So, this is one. And now. More than one. There's a word for it. Yeah. Use your use your word. What's uh, what's the number? Two. There you go. Three. Three. Yes. I'll give you that one. Uh -huh. Then it's. More than three. Much more. Definitely twice the two because there was two two, so two twos. And two plus two is? Twenty-two. No. <laughs> Sorry. <Ceres, laughs> we've been over this. Uh, hold on. Well, I know this. One, two, three, four. Four is the number. Good. There's your fourth. And now the last one. Five. Perfect. So you oh, give that to the right. nice man. <laughs> like you give that to the nice man, he'll give you a shield. I want that, sir. Thank you. Here you are. Take that. I take this now, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank it's you nice for the. Adventure. <laughs> Ceres goes to the market. <laughs> <laughs> Counting with it's, Ceres. It's the count with Ceres. Ah ah ah! One <laughs> ah ah ah! Two ah ah ah! Tempted to get a cooking kit, but I don't think this girl knows how to cook. I think Ceres deserves a cooking kit as a present. Probably. I don't know how he's going to eat it, but I think he's willing to try. Oh, I, don't know I what, bet I he could make an effort. And <laughs> and Riddle, no, Adita isn't a chemist. She is, however, very superstitious. All oh, right. All right, and uh, I take it Nico also picks up a shield, correct? Yeah, I'm getting myself a buckler. Can't do any of those things. Well, I can. I just choose not I mean, to. You can, but why? Actually, I, mean, I think there, there's going to be a point where armor is going to outpace my plus three in charisma. Because technically, I can get a leather armor and a buckler, and it would equate to the plus three. Goodness, I'm sorry, guys. I am like so tired today. You're all right. It's been a week. All right, so I, I believe it. I'm, I'm gonna walk away with like 40 bullets and assorted sundries. Fantastic. I'll send. I'll I'll send you the shopping list after, Dave. There are four gladii between these four legionnaires. I don't know if they use them, but they have them. Yeah, I, I've used mine. I don't know if they use them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I, you get... uh, I walk away with 40 bullets and then some other stuff that I'll message to you. Fair enough. All right. Just make sure you deduct the gold. And I, I take it you all will meet back up at maybe like the Red Wine uh, Inn where you first started your adventure. Yep. And everyone's All right. gifted. Everyone but Ceres is gifted with a with a with a with a bag of bullets. <laughs> All right. Bullets. How many bullets? Uh, well, I got ten for each of us, and then I got ten to split between us to kind of compensate for what we used. Beautiful. I will add some extra bullets. So the seven for seven for Adita. How many did you use, Mars? Three. I only use three, so okay. with so, the ten you gave me, I'm at twenty-seven. Okay, so you get an extra three, and Adita will get an extra two, uh, seven to to make up for the Beautiful. extra the extra ten that I grabbed. All right, you, it's going to be two silver pieces to stay at this inn for for the night per person. Okay, so that should cap everyone at thirty. 
So two silver per person? Yep. Yeah, I'll just take a gold piece out and pay the tab. Hey. All right. And you are returned to silver pieces. For there are only four of you. That's all right. We could just leave it as a tip. <laughs> Technically, Sidess sleeps at the foot of our bunks. Who gets Sidess tonight? Whose turn is it? Eh, I'll, I'll take this <laughs> turn. I still gotta, you? Yeah, because now i got to teach him six through ten. <laughs> Wait, you got one through five? It took a few minutes. Man, Nico. You know... I never really believed it when you said you used to be a school teacher, but you know, <laughs> you've done some amazing things with <laughs> yeah, you just, gotta, you just gotta know how to bribe them right. You're not yes. incorrect. I got three cookies. <laughs> Good job, Sedes. Look at that, you counted to three, Sedes. You had, three you had it right the first time. <laughs> there you go. Once... Now, once again at your favorite tavern, relaxing and enjoying your rewards from your harrowing encounter with the harvesters of your mandragore, you hear talk of that law that was being considered by the Senate. It appears that the law regarding the interdiction of any ships in Koriani waters suspected of piracy or smuggling was killed due to a surprise move by Senator Tenson Balin, who withdrew the proclamation from consideration. What makes this so odd is that it was the good senator himself that had first proposed the law. Strange that he should have sudden change of heart, but such is the way of politics within the Empire. So, you enjoy some feasting mm. for a little bit. I'm sure you enjoy some drinking as you have successfully completed your first job outside of the Legion. Hey. After I mean, after go us! Good job, Legionnaires! And Anita kind of holds up in a nice, quiet corner of the room and, you know, orders a, orders one celebratory beer. <laughs> one celebratory beer among one the ale. One celebratory uh, beer. Among the ale that is probably flowing between the four of us. 100%. Agreed. Ceres orders one celebratory cask of brandy. Ceres. <laughs> uh, um, okay, I have to look up a, a cask. cask of brandy. Oh. But you do see, as you guys sit and chat throughout the, the evening now, occasionally drinks are sent through to Theodora. As, mm -hmm. you know, certain bar patrons are, like, waving at you. Like, hey. Hi. Oh, yeah, no, she's totally gonna go work the room and pay attention to the guys buying her drinks. That's just something she does. She's like, as soon as the drinks start appearing at their table, she's gonna go start smoozing the room, going to the tables that buy her the drink. As though it wasn't also the women in the room. Like, <laughs> totally. totally. Uh. I've seen Theodora. Hell, I'd buy Theodora a drink. <laughs> I mean, to be 100% honest with you, it isn't uncommon for, the for Theodora to maybe end up in a room with more than one person. It is or isn't? Isn't. Okay, I heard is. Except no. that's what led to the one time that we had to explain a lot of things to Ceres using very big words so that we didn't actually understand what we were talking about. And I still haven't been able to figure out how to explain midgets in a trench coat. Yeah. What? <laughs> midgets in a trench coat. They're halflings. Nope, halflings don't they exist in this world. Halflings. No, they don't. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I, I, I thought they did. Halflings All half are extinct. They were. Uh, okay. They were genocidally wiped out by Seth Rigor. Oh Jesus! Or yeah, as Rigor points out, three three kobolds in a trench coat. I mean, it could have been three kobolds in a trench coat. I'm not going to judge Theodora's taste. It's just that sometimes things are really difficult to explain to Sadess. Yes. Well, I mean, that's not her fault. I mean, true. It's just that it's hard to explain things to Ceres in terms of 
whether or not he should eat that, but also covering the birds and the bees and the lizards and the trees. <laughs> My favorite part was eating them. I love that. I love that. The birds, the bees, the lizards, and the trees. That's beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> it's yours now. <laughs> yes. So, oh, with that balloon. being said, the evening wanes. You all uh, retire to your rooms. Um, Theodora retires to a room. Yeah, a and room. <laughs> you all get a long rest and replenish oh, all your stuff. Is there, a, is there a button for that on here? Nope. I thought there. Hold on. Someone said there was a command. You're tall. You're thinking D and D Beyond. We're doing roll twenty. Yeah, roll twenty. You kind of have to manual reset your nonsense. Oh, since we are getting that long rest, of uh, who wants that ring of protection we picked up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That juicy ring of protection. Uh, we didn't really hash that out, did we? I'd say for now, considering she went down, perhaps Adida. Well, then that I was mean, you know, that was you due to a fire, like a, a, a AOE fire spell, but still. Yeah, <laughs> I won't say no because Adita could probably stand an AC boost. Who has the lowest AC currently? Uh, it might be Adita. What's her AC? Fifteen. Yeah, Nico's sitting at seventeen with the buckler now. I'm at e I'm at sixteen. I'm at eighteen. Okay. Adita. Adita. Yeah, then. Adita. So if you if you get better armor, uh, I'll have the lowest next, the next lowest. So they'll pass on to probably me. All right. So I will add that to her character sheet and her goodies. Well, you know, character sheet. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to uncheck these. Uh, on, just all right. You have all awakened to the new day. You feel rested and fully recuperated. You should be at your max health now as second level heroes. Hey. I will go ahead and update those stat blocks for next week. That flashes on the screen. So, Burnish Band... What would you like to do next? What else do we have to do in this town? We just came to kind of like look. Well, we, didn't we have like a board we were going to go check initially until we were approached? Well, you were approached with a job. Right. Back in Millendeer. That's one option. There is oh, a... Oh, right. We have to finish that other job, don't we? <laughs> there was another job? There was the one where I had to give information to someone. To Duke Victor Valholren of yeah, Fardalu. Him. him. So glad you remembered that. And the best way probably to get back there is using an Ansharan gate. Right. How much does that said, cost? Said, Forget, no, we can use we one. Yeah. Uh, it says Victor Valhorin. <coughs> <laughs> Yep, Victor Val Holren. H O L R Y N. Okay. H O L R Y N. And Fardalu. Um, does anyone have? What would this be? Another Val, probably. Yeah. Um, this would probably. Let's see. Geography would probably fall under knowledge nature. Anyone have a knowledge nature check? I mean, I can roll it. I have a zero in it. Not. Adita's got nature. Okay. I think that's probably one of the... Anyway, so there's my one. <laughs> <laughs> you have never heard of Fardalu? You don't even think it actually really exists? <laughs> so there's this counterweight continent, right? Um, the counterweight actually, continent. You know, I'm just <laughs> I mean, I got words <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is some roll twenty BS. Look at these rolls. Wow. <laughs> so, just... nope. You don't get to use that I, uh, eighteen. <laughs> I know, but it broke the roll twenty first. We're gonna. Uh, we should probably go get a map. Is what we probably should do. 
I wasn't done explaining about, okay, so the counterweight continent, right? <laughs> it's actually populated by these horrendous bipedal deer. Mm. And they've got these long, powerful tails that they use to sort of counterbalance them, where they rear up and kick you in the chest. They can kick a man's ribcage clear out of his body. Mm. It's true. And I'm told that they carry around their prey in a little flesh sack in their belly. It's horrifying. I thought so... they were demons, but no, I'm told they're just the local counterweight deer. I huh, pray this land useful. doesn't exist. Space Australia. Space <laughs> Australia! Space <laughs> Australia! I really so, hope GM Dave gives us a Ceres Hunter. I mean, <laughs> Hunter. Frog Hunter. So, would you like to uh, find a map here in Coriani, or would you yes. like to go and get one in Millendeer? I know everything about this place. Why are you so worried about getting a map? I'm going to get a map. <laughs> All right. You learned through your map that uh, Fardalu is actually between uh, Luchuk and Yarek. So mm -hmm. you actually passed it when you were riding from Luchuk to Yarek. So you just oh. have to take a different road. Oh. Well, okay. Is there, but is there a job board in town as well? Um, one of the jobs that you do see is there has been some issues with some local bandits in the area that have been um, ducking away from legionnaire uh, patrols. That mm. could be a possibility. You know, smite the bandits. I mean, yeah. and that's one other job that is currently posted right now. Okay. I was just wondering if there was anything along the way. We can kill two birds with one travel stone. But I well, suppose we can check the boards over there as well. All righty. So you walk That's back what adventurers to... adventurers do, right? We, we, we check boards. We're supposed to be adventurers now. Well, <laughs> oddly enough, most time people approach you. That's Instead fair. of you going to a board in this world. Mm, okay. So, I mean, that's fair. You return back to the temple district and specifically you go to the Ansharan temple. Uh, mm. There, the Legion of Grim Lamentation do stand post. They don't turn to he their heads to look at you. They are there, ever vigilant. You are greeted by the Ansharan priest uh, once again. And she says, welcome back. Is there anything this servant of the Weeping Mother can do for you today? Where are we going again? What were the you two are... towns that we could go to? You want to go to uh, Ferdalu. Ferdalu. In Milindy. Milindir. What do you eat that with? A <laughs> fine Savonan wine. Oh. Uh... What's a Savonin wine? Is it like an ale? Yeah, no. Turn on a fan real quick. Uh, Theodora would give a kind smile and reply with, we would like passage to Milandir. Very closest, well. I sh closest to Ferlanu. Did I say that right? Ferdalu. Ferdalu. Very well. Uh, I can get you to... The Luchek portal. From there, you can travel to Fardalu. It would be much appreciated. All right. Once again, she begins her incantation. The portal opens, and you all jump through. Okay. Woo, no, and SG1. you won. <laughs> you SG won your way through. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you arrive back in Luchek. And you are greeted by the Ancharan cleric on the other side. He welcomes you once again. Um, but I take it you all just want to set out on your journey? Yeah. Wait, is there, is there more demons being summoned upon arrival? Or does it seem actually calm? <laughs> this, yeah, this time when you get to town, there's A, no rain, and B, no horrible demon eating uh, people left and right. 
Okay, well, well that's a nice right. change of pace. The last time we visited this place was a shit show. I agree. This is terrible. Last time there was buffet waiting. <laughs> <sighs> You've got... You know what? Nico, he's your problem this time. You uh, wanted to teach him how right to count. The Go ahead and explain the difference between buffet and battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> I, tr I tried that once. Even I got confused after a few minutes. Sedes <laughs> is Run very... Out of what? Is That's very terrible. Sedes is very know. good at, you know, convincing us of his ways. <laughs> No, Sedes is not good at convincing us. <laughs> he is, however, good at cajoling us into whatever You're stupid You're not wrong. He's doing. You're not wrong. He's like I'm that bad child that you want to smack on the hand, but then he gives you those puppy dog eyes, and then you feel bad for him, but you still smack him on the hand. See, and meanwhile, I was thinking he's kind of like a pug. Like, you know... It's really misbehaved, but the thing is just so dumb looking that you can't help it. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, I, I definitely want to bonk you with the newspaper, Sedes, but one look at those sweet, scaly features, and I just can't stay mad at you. Aww. Also, now take my think. boot out of your mouth. Yeah, pretty much. No. Semi-professional military training. I mean, he was technically trained by professional military personnel. <laughs> yeah. But in all likelihood, it, it's kind of like the class pet. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It's like we, call, we all kind of like agreed that, hey, maybe it's better if we, like, keep this thing and it's kind of like we'll raise it as, like, an attack dog, but then we're kind of like, oh, well, this is nothing like an attack dog. What have yeah. we done? Yeah. What have we done? I mean, well, then we got him boots, and he was so proud of walking around in his little boots. I mean, it was really funny. It was like he thought he was people. Exactly. Wow. I will be right back because the dog needs to go outside and the martini needs to be fixed. You're good. I All right. In that glass. <clears throat> We're going to head on our way to uh, this other place that starts with an F. Fardalu. Fardalu. <laughs> Don't say it at the same time, please. All um, right. Farfala. Farfala. Okay. I was going to say Fedora, and I know that's not right. So... At the request of Count Albert Val Olsen, you have journeyed to the city of Fardalu, which rests in the shadow of Dark Felderfer Walden. You had brought warnings of increased harvester activity, but found it difficult to deliver your message. Duke Victor Val Horan was still in Tralia, and his knights were busy with the sudden outbreak of a plague. You had Ooh. only waited a single day when Duke Victor sent word that the city was to be sealed so that the plague would not spread beyond the Fardalu's gates. Fardalu quickly became a prison filled with cries of misery and death. Entire Ow. blocks of the city have been sealed off, forcing many people out of their homes and making the inns impossibly crowded. Even Noble Val must make do with not but a piece of common room floor. The common room of the Oaken Shield is filled with worried people willing to share their concerns for the price of a warm meal. So some time has passed. You've arrived at this town. Let's say you stayed one night so far, and you're staying at the Oaken Shield. The place... Wait... So we got there, was let in, and we've been sealed into the town with the plague? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We Welcome to Fardalu. We? What's up? It's like, we, it's, like we get, it's like we get in there, it's like, oh wow, all these people are suffering. We just really need to drop off a real quick message. Oh, you mean we have to go in to deliver the message? Okay, oh, you mean now we can't leave? Oh, okay. 
you alone for two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> to, to be fair, Ceres ran off. We had to chase after him. Yeah, I believe it. I did not. That is lie. I didn't. Okay. Run. I walked calmly. Nico, I've explained this to you a dozen times. If you, if the dog runs off and you chase the dog. The dog keeps running because it thinks you're playing a game. It was a game. It's called Catch Me If You Can. If and... Ceres runs off and you chase him, Ceres will keep running and jumping and climbing trees because he thinks it's a game. This is Except why I keep he ask... has three-inch fangs, Nico. This is why I keep asking for a leash for Ceres when we take him out. I hold up a I held up a hempen rope. No, he'll chew through the rope. I'm talking like a proper leash. You mean a chain? That thing, yeah. Okay. Well, if I would have known, I would have bought it. But no one said anything. You but have to tell me when I go on my shopping trips. So, Adita, Nico, shopping. Adita, Nico, and Theodora, will you all? Will you three give me wisdom saving throws? Oh, uh, boy. Why wisdom? He picked whatever stat he thought we'd do the worst at. Is that a, <laughs> is that, is that a saving throw or a check that I just rolled? I don't know. Either way, it's a... good. Yep. Okay. We have rolled numbers. Yep. Numbers are recorded. Okay. Wait, but As why didn't I have to roll anything? Did I tell you to roll? No. You're a stress. Oh. That. Uh, all right. It's good living. Now, have you, as you all have spent some time just kind of sitting at your table, the, the common room of this inn is completely crowded. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Nico, give me a perception check. Oh boy, I'm good at these. Okay, apparently I am. Oh yeah, you're really fucking good at these. Hey, hey Nico, what do you know about hey, that? There it is. Ah, <laughs> the one, the one PG thirteen f bomb. <laughs> Wait, did I say it? <laughs> yep, you said yeah, it. Was <laughs> you did. Wasn't even paying attention. So, friends, uh, GM Dave told us that since it's a PG-13 stream, we get one F-bomb. And before the stream started, we all rolled for the right to use the F-bomb. Um, so Shura uh, won the F-bomb roll. Uh, so there you go. We were all told to use it wisely. And um, anyway, so she used it. <laughs> Why is hey! it <laughs> I did not use it wisely at all. I, I my, <laughs> my 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 uh no cursing filter slipped. <laughs> so hey, Nico, sure, I will sell you an F bomb. <laughs> yep. You hear three other guys sitting at a table not too far away from you. <clears throat> is it obvious that the plague has been sent by Kadseri to weaken the nation for invasion? Another individual. The Duke has ordered the city be burned and all those trapped within be burned along with it. He would do he would do to us what he did to Brachot. And then a last person. Well, I've heard there are shadows in the darkness that bring death with them. I saw them with my own eyes. Ah, what are you talking about? We all know what the Duke's going to do here. He's going to send us all up. He's just going to burn this town and just cover it as a loss. With all the plague that's going around, come on, we're expendable. What do we know? We're just common folk. Now, come on, Hayden. You don't want to say that. I mean, the Duke out here has been pretty good. Ha! Pretty good, my ass. You heard what he did to Brochot, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. You know I'm right. The Duke is going to have it in for all of us. You'll see. Well, How far away were these guys? They're probably about a table away from you. They're not too far. They think they're to themselves, but you kind of... 
you have a keen ear sometimes for these things, even though you may not be quote unquote the most perceptive, sometimes you do pick up on key bits of information. Yeah, I'll just kind of relay what I can back to everyone else. So, mm. Does that brush show sound familiar? Does it? Um, with your Milidesian knowledge from your uh, knowledge nature roles, I would probably say no. Well, I was gonna roll history or, some, or something. Give me okay. one sec. Let me double check something for you. Do, 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 do. For sure, Would for sure. you entertain a fresh knowledge roll with this new information? Sure, why not? Uh, which one are you rolling? Uh, it's a uh, probably nature. Yeah, you nature. Know, the one thing she's useful. Nature. For. Okay. Uh -oh. Tell me all the things. <laughs> uh. Let's see. One second. There was a rumor going around that Duke Valholren uh, eliminated a bunch of people in Brashow due to a plague there as well. However, with uh, the information that you've been able to pick up here and there, you've actually learned that it's false. It's a false rumor. With, mm. a, with a roll that high, you would learn that the rumor would be false. Okay. Do I... Do I have a sense of what what the falsehood is? Like, was Brashow wiped out by play? Um, no, Brashow. What this uh, town in Fardalu is going through is very similar to what's going on in Brashow as well. So the Duke is trying to do his best to try to keep things as calm as possible, while the while the different clerics, specifically of the Beltinian sect, are working on trying to figure out a cure. Do we know what, what, like the disease itself yet? This is an unknown disease. Oh, okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I have tried something, Jam? What would you like to try? I think clerics can have access to their full spell list, correct? You just have to prepare what spells you want. Yep, each and every day. Okay, I would have prepared to detect poison and disease to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> All right. So there are probably maybe people around town who has uh, who may be diseased. You'll probably have to actively seek them out. Mm. Now, I really mean, quick. I can stay 30 feet away from them, but yes. Yes. <laughs> and ask them to wear a mask. Mm-hmm. And social distance. Um, okay, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Too much reality. Uh, but the but the detect poison disease tells me what the disease is. Right. All right. Um, but before we do that, Theodora, Nico, I'm gonna give you some more information from the three gentlemen. Once yeah. again, Dude's your out. ears. Ooh. Hey man, you rolled really well. Ooh. Well, I heard that more than a dozen priests have been murdered this month alone. This clear proof that the Canceri is responsible. This is from individual number one. Individual number two. Even now, knights of the Granzi Castle march to seal the city so the Duke's sentence might be carried out. And the last individual. I heard assassins are moving among us and are murdering those that may save us from our terrible fate. What are you talking about, Bruno? Why do we need to worry about assassins or anyone trying to figure out? No one knows what's going on with this plague. The Duke is just going to take care of it the way he sees fit. Us normal, small, regular human folk, we don't stand a chance. And that's what you get from another round of conversation. I'll just kind of lean into the table, just kind of talk to everyone else. Just kind of, again, relay what I'm saying, uh, or what they said. So, mm. so we might have some 
company. Oh, that's what very bad. What do you mean, company? I didn't bring any lamb. How are we supposed to help company? Well, okay, Ceres. <laughs> <Mr. S. laughs> <laughs> do, do you remember that? Uh, it was like a few years ago when we were all asleep and then these guys came in the middle of the night. They kind of cut open the tent and tried to stab you. Yes. That kind of company. Oh, okay. So not the company gives you at that all. idea? Uh, well, one of the guys talking about things hiding in the shadows, potential assassins around, and... Well... Yeah, a bit of the studies I've had with Kadic. It does seem to match up a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to keep things quiet in this town. And mm. somebody gets too loud, never see him again. I'm sorry I'm yawning so much, guys. I only yawned no, because she yawned earlier. That's my defense. I'm sorry. You're fine. I caught it. <laughs> I <laughs> you. Like, to be honest with you, I'm not necessarily watching uh, the, the vid, so I'm like, I'm spared from the yawning curse. Oh, that's probably a good thing. I just know I'm like, oh, every three minutes. No, you're good. Uh, guys, don't be old. It's no. a terrible <laughs> curse. Yes. So, yes. my friends, what would you like to do now? To cure the, not cure disease, the detect disease. All right, so I take you all then get up to walk outside. As you're walking around town, you cast your spell. Mm. And you, you cast a detect poison and detect disease. Mm -hmm. And you do, uh, no check required, you do come across people who are at various different stages of disease, and mm -hmm. you kind of hone in on them. And the way the spell works, you know, you're kind of almost, I would imagine that you're going through almost an imaginary list of different diseases that it could be. Mm -hmm. And the problem is nothing is coming up. Hmm. So it's not a poison or a disease. Well, it looks like a disease. It's just you can't detect it. Yeah, even, even a bioweapon would probably have popped up on this thing right off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that means it's potentially something magical in nature at that point. Do I have anything useful going on over here? I'm looking at the cleric spell list like, uh, 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 I mean, I have detect good and evil. That would not help here. Purify feud and drink would have, but it's not poison or a disease, so. I mean, we and they're already and afflicted. We could find if there's a, uh church or priest of some such <clears throat> in the village that's already been in the village or town that's already been uh trying to observe the disease or find out whatever may be causing it or seek the person who runs the town right because then we could also ask for lamb <laughs> you and your lamb i guess i'm struggling with how this is our problem to fix we can't leave. We can't leave until we fix it. You, you missed that. You missed that one little part because we came into the town when you were gone walking the dogs. We came into the town I mean, to deliver our message, and they shut the doors behind us. They're like, "Oh, by the way, no one's allowed to leave." Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we can leave. We can try and sneak out. It's just, you know, I don't know how effective that would be. I don't know how ethical that is, even by my standards, Theodora. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is not a character. Oh, this is okay. not a character. No, <laughs> I'm no. mad. Theodora would, not, Theodora would not. Theodora would not suggest leaving. As a cleric, she would want to help. As a player, I'm like, technically, but. <laughs> All right. Everyone give me perception checks. All right. I'm going to perceive some stuff. I'm going to remember where perception is on my character sheet, oh, which God. is probably just... failing a perception roll myself. Just, like, can I just can I just keep my nat twenty from before? No, re-roll. Your mom. Ah, uh, that's more Nico's that roll. Damn RPG. <laughs> no, it's just 
Yeah, it's Nico. <laughs> His perception's not the greatest. Hey. No, he has a negative one, so. Okay, all you needed Why was a 10. Wisdom based. Hey, I just barely yeah. passed that. I mean, Nico did some things. There Honestly, is a no, really. Why is wisdom perception based? I mean, perception, perception wisdom, wisdom based. based. I okay. know how words work. I mean, what would it, what else, what else would it kind of be based on? There is a great commotion outside, and as you look to see what could be amiss. You see a large body of well-armed men shouting to the knights to open the city and let them out. Several of these men are obviously infected with the plague. Facing them is a hopelessly outnumbered force of the Duke's knights led by a Saracen. Return to your homes, the Saracen shouts. The rumors are false. The Duke is an honorable and just man. A voice from the crowd one that Nico recognizes as one of the as the one of the instigators at the end shouts back, "My friends, can you not see that the Duke put a lizard in charge because he would not trust a Milindesian to slaughter his own countrymen?" The young knight seems taken aback, as if that is the last thing she would have ever expected to hear. Much of the mob seems surprised with that remark as well, though that doesn't prevent the number of them from rushing the gate. Without help, the knights will certainly be slaughtered. Also, um, let's see, who had the highest perception? Sarest. All right. Hey. Yes. Real quick. How far is this other Sarestum from me? Well, uh -oh. I will go ahead and pull that up. <laughs> I have a hand on Ceres's collar because I've just been watching yeah. to watch him and keep yeah. an eye on him the whole time now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Ceres, bad dog, but good lizard, Ceres. And let's go ahead and move this over here. All right. Okay. Ceres, do you consider yourself more predator or scavenger? Predator. Okay. I have something that might be able to help with this, but I have to kind of get in the middle of everything. Okay, so I got my channel divinity. Weird. Oh, that's right. out way too far. Okay, we'll try to capture that on the map. Yeah. You know what? We don't need, we don't need more stuff. So they're, they're up in arms over the potentiality of being burned, correct? Like being slaughtered and whatnot? Uh, uh yes. That's mm. really weird. All right, I'm trying to adjust something, Ooh, but me. it seems like roll 20 is being my enemy for today. Roll 20s being roll 20. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! This is partially why I like the system I'm working with now. All right, so you guys are at the bottom. Right down Program. here. Program's the word I'm looking at. Looking if you want, you can move yourselves up a little bit. The individual who seems to be starting things here. And mm -hmm. um, as you guys are approaching, Adita you notice this with your 13 um as you guys are approaching you do notice the saracen at the mm -hmm. the head of the column and you take a look over at saras because this is probably the first time he's ever encountered another saracen and when mm -hmm. you look at saras he's green the other saras no, your Ceres is green. Oh, okay. Wait, our Ceres is green? I thought he was purple because that was the color of the... Yes, you oh. know that he's purple, but right now he's green. What the fuck? Ceres. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Would anyone like to roll knowledge nature? Yeah. yeah. Why is, yeah, why is our Ceres green? Yeah. 
All right. Unfortunately, oh, wow. even though your the rolls are substantially good, you don't know. Oh. But we raised this. We have yeah. no idea what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and Why Ceres, is Ceres green? As you gaze ahead of you, you see the other Ceresin. And you have been told that if one Ceresin meets another, and if they're from two different uh, clutches, you would uh -oh. feel that inner desire, that rage to attack them. But you don't feel that. Yeah. Oh. Huh. I think I know what stress does feel. Hungry? <laughs> I mean, you could call it that for maybe a bit of tuna. So, how would you like to handle this? I mean, we can diplomat. We can diplomat our way through this. All right, Theodora. 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 Looks to the rest of the group. I mean, I have my channel divinity that stuns everyone and basically pulls all their attention to me now. So, <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, that's your cleric yes. ability, right? That's my cleric ability. All eyes on me, basically. Ooh. I can basically I can, the wrong I, button. I can basically charm everyone in a thirty-foot radius of me. All right. Uh, go ahead and move your characters. To what you feel would be an appropriate position. I don't know how to get around all these people. Cause I have to try because it's just it's the it's the it's the aggressors or the or so so to clarify. Sure. These people here. Are you gonna there you go. These these yeah, those people there are the aggressors, correct? And these people <laughs> are being menacing towards over here, these people. Mm -hmm. This okay, was these... the guy who shouted. Right, and these people here? Like these middlemen? Yeah. What are they? They seem to be like getting all riled up. Ah! Rabble, 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 rabble! Right. Okay, hold on. Because it says 30 foot. Any, 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 anyone within 30 feet. So if I technically... Where's the frickin' pen tool? Pen. Freehand. Technically here. What do I get? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I basically have to get there. All right. So, I think you you all just walk in between. I mean, are they going to let us walk in between? They no, seem I'm, to be more focused... Free. They seem to be more focused on what's going on here than what people walking up. When I say uh, stop, you'll, that's where we'll say we'll stop. Okay. Uh, By the way, uh, I've switched from my normal bodyguard stance with uh, Adita to Theodora. Okay. Yeah. Uh, out of character, I'm terrible at knowing what to say in these situations. <laughs> so my character might know I don't. <laughs> You know I'm what? With it and let's see what happens. My, my goal is to try and calm these people and deter them from causing more uproar and calamity. Let's see how this goes. Let's All right. See what happens. Tell um, me what you would like to say to them. GM uh, Dave, what would you take to climb the tree? Uh, athletics check. Thank you. Uh, basically, okay. So my my goal in this. You climb. Nice. My goal in Positioning. this is to calm the restless uh, souls of the poor people in this town and essentially uh, de-escalate the situation and say there are better ways to find a solution other than violence. And we shall perhaps we shall try and work together to reach that solution instead of trying to shed blood upon the streets and only further... Um, worsen our situation. It's kind of what I'm trying to get across here. Okay, one guy shouts back. And who are you? Uh, who are you? Uh, by the way, who? I used the divine I used the divine uh, divination. Presence? Channel uh, divinity. Channel divinity, that's the word I'm looking for. 
Let me put that in the chat. The Lady of the Lake. There we go. I have chosen your king. Pretty much. Hey, run with the lies. Like, yeah. I, I don't know what Theodora's morality is, but like... No, Theodora's right. neutral. You do see several people start turning and looking at you like, Oh. Um, w well, while we hear her out, yeah, yeah, hear her out. She's not even from here. What is she, Coriani? Do you really want to trust a Coriani? Look at them. I bet they're here to start trouble. Heck, I think they're even here, and they were sent by the Duke to silence us. Oh, I have no allegiance to any duke. I am here purely to help to help the people of this land. I may be Coriani, but I am also a uh, cleric of Larissa. I help all men. I heard um. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> all like, right. I help all men is a very much a suggestive tone. So, Theodora, give me a persuasion check. I am good at those. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. That's plus five. That's a... Hey! Wow! <laughs> okay. With a 23, you see that everyone is turning their heads towards you, and they're actually listening to you. You see some people who are like getting all fired up and ra rabble rouse are like slowly calming down now. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as they were hearing your words and a couple of people's like, she's right. There's a lot of people who are sick, but maybe we, we shouldn't, you know, get violent. You know, people are just trying to do their jobs. Yeah, that's right. You know, we're all trying to live here. I mean, it'd be terrible if we all just start beating on one another. I mean, we're all Melindesian except for these folks. I mean, how is it how is it fair that the Koreani girl is making more sense than we are in our own homeland? Yeah. <laughs> and then you see the guy who started it is just like, but I mean, could we really trust them? I mean. How do we know who? How do we know who they are? They're not from here. They're not from Millendeer. Heck, they probably fought in the war against us. Oh, shut it! Says another guy. Yeah, seriously, Hayden. Why don't you just be quiet? No one wants to fight today. You rabble rouser, you. Why don't you go back to the bar and just drink into your cups like usual? And so the guy kind of. Nico. Be like, can I eat that one? <laughs> <laughs> not, not helping our yet, case. Not yet, sir. Not helping not our case. Yet. Oh, yeah. And he just. Yeah, he just leaves. Yeah, Theodora would smile kindly and thank the men for their understanding and uh, willing to reason. Okay. So we're going to go. Boop. We're going to go here, and we're going to go back, because, Theodora, you have successfully ended the combat that never happened. <laughs> well done. Okay. You see that the nice. people start dispersing, and the Saracen that was hanging, you know, kind of in the front of all this, looks at you just like, whoa. <laughs> The Saracen Knight walks over to you. She appears to be un... Well, yeah, she apparently is unscathed due to the fact that no hostilities took place. My thanks. It looked very to be very grim for a moment, and I cannot imagine how they could ever think that the Duke would want to slaughter his own subjects. But I thank you for talking sense into them. My name is Red Mantle, and I am in your death. Debt. Uh, I am Theodora. I'm just happy to have passed this conflict in a peaceful manner. There are much there are much better ways to settle this matter than to shed more blood upon the streets, especially when there are those who are already ill and sick. I do agree, 
but maybe sometimes it's good to get a fresh perspective. But they are right. You are not Milindesian. Who are you? Uh, I'm just going to look around where my group is real quick. I am still holding on to Ceres's collar. Just easy, Ceres. Got it. Okay. And, and Come down I, out of the tree. Okay. I was going to say, is Adina still in the tree? Nope. Yeah, Adina okay. came down once the threat passed. Okay. Why is your friend holding that Ceresin like that? Oh, that Ceresin is a friend of ours, and he could be just a little bit impulsive. I am Theodora, a former legionnaire, though we, me and my companions, have decided to be more free in our actions. I see. And what is the rest of your names? Uh, my name's Nico. Our little buddy here is Ceres. Ceres? <clears throat> Who named you that noble name? <laughs> oh, okay, noble. I'm going to point at Adita, and then Nico, and Theodora. Them. Ceres is our Ceres. You're not from the Black Marsh like me? No. I believe there is a story here. N no. <laughs> so I don't uh, want to kill her, by the way, right? <clears throat> no, you don't have the urge to kill her. Oh, that's surprising. All right. right. So, I was excited there for a second. I was like, oh. All right, so, Ceres, are you good? I can let you go? Yeah, he said this is good. Why? Okay, just making sure. Oh, okay. It's very curious that these hum or <clears throat> humans or vows gave the you Theodore your Rebond. name and that you were not named by the matriarch of the clutch. Oh, she's dead. No, she's not. You're Black Talon. Our matriarch is alive and well. No, no, I clean them. They're very clean. They're not black. Yeah, they are. You look at them, you see black talons. Yeah, they're, they're very dark colored. It's natural. Uh, the Theodore would kind of put her arm around Ceres and says, we kind of found him as a child and decided to raise him, more or less. We don't know much about Ceres and culture or the way their ideology, so we kind of did our best. But you named him after one of the greatest heroes of the Ceres and Empire, and, well, the whole Ceresan Empire was named after the hero Ceres. He's our Ceres. Like, that's what he is. Yes. Uh, he was also purple about five minutes ago. We're not sure why he's green. What do you mean purple? Now she's looking a lot more... Hot? Who was purple? <laughs> Rest. Look at your hands. Ah! What? Why? Is that the color Ceres is supposed to be? It's the color that Ceres is. Oh. Something okay. weird is going on here. <laughs> yes, I think you. Are you humans by any chance colorblind? Oh, what? that might be. Because if he was a different type of Ceresin, chances are he would have wanted to jump and attack me, and I would have felt exactly the same. Well, his normal reaction is to jump and attack and usually Everyone. eat things. That's why I was just making sure he wasn't going to just run off. Ceres, okay. did you want to fight her? No. Why? Should I? She seems like a nice lady. Why am I fighting her? Hmm. What? Everyone's being I mean, weird. We should go to the tavern. He seems fine. Agreed. We Except should go to the tavern. Except that he's the wrong color. Yeah. You know what would make me the red color? Lamb. You know, that's probably true. He's probably just hungry, guys. Yeah. It's been like 20 minutes since he ate. You know how he is. You humans are strange. But you've introduced yourselves, but you haven't told me why you were here. Oh, I, we were a, here initially. We, we were here initially simply to deliver a message and was caught within the walls once they shut. 
Ah, I see. I I'm sorry that you are stuck here for the time being, but hopefully we can have things uh, cleared out n within the next couple of days. And as long as you don't show any signs of the plague, you should be allowed to leave as well. Let's hope so. We have... Right now, we're just trying... Well, but by chance, do you know how this plague started? Where it came from? When it started? It started not maybe about a few weeks ago. Not too long ago. But I do know a few things. One, such as myself and Ceres, we are not affected by the plague. It seems mm. like this plague only affects those with human blood. I was about to say, be careful, what? Jez. You have a tigress behind you. I'm like, technically, okay, so Gia, te <laughs> technically, we're not of human blood, correct? We're yeah. Val. Val's are part human, part divine oh, okay. being. Okay, that's what I was, I was just double checking. It's like, so technically, we can attach this. Um... Let's see. She also offers the Duke has sealed the city to prevent the spread of the disease. Hopefully it will run its course and people will stop dying. A knight by the name of Oderic Valtensen is coming with his men to reinforce the quarantine. He is a mighty knight and a famous general. Wait, well, didn't we serve with him? Did we? Uh, no, you spoke with a gentleman by the name of Osiric. No, who did we no, no, serve no. We with? We served with someone of the Tencent name, didn't we? Oh, you're thinking of... Da, 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 Menesis Val Tencent. Okay, there Me we go. Remember, Menesis Val Tencent is the head general of the Coriani Empire who actually okay. led an assault into Millendir. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't remember those things. I remembered some things. I was just like, when the, when he accused us of fighting against the Millendirans, I'm like, oh yeah, probably, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> probably. Ah, no, see, I'm a pretty lady. I'm a cleric. I don't have any will towards you people. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing I that she would like, she'll offer you is, many people have been murdered here over the past few months. Those responsible have not been caught. I take care of the street, and I take care of the streets at night. So please be careful if you wander out. Hmm. Well, Understood. one question that I have is, if nobody's allowed to leave, why do you still let people in if you're trying to get this disease under control? Well, he's got we a just, good point. We just recently closed the gates just like about a day or so ago. That's how we're trying to prevent the... That's how the quarantine was initiated. We were yeah. hoping that the disease would be just a minor thing and just run its course, but it seems to be a little bit more contagious than people imagined. Mm. And there is no word as to what is causing this because it does not seem to be natural. As of right now, no. We have no... We do not know what's going on. Out of character. This thing is spreading like a disease. Yes. Or is that just what we've been told? That's like, what... I mean, granted, everything is what we've... Ever, granted, at this point, we're not studying these people. It is kind of like what we're being told. It's kind of what you're being told, and when you walked around and looked at people, you do see that there's certain people that are in different stages of the disease over others. <clears throat> For, the other thing you were told is there are around... Let me double check. There are usually four stages. And uh -huh. when you reach the fourth stage, that is not so good. And right. why is your uh, Ceresin friend trying to sneak away? Is our Ceresin friend trying to sneak away? I'm just going to yes. grab him by the collar and just drag him back. <sighs> he, he can get a little impatient when speaking. Ceres is probably hungry. Uh, much talking and not enough lamb. I will die here. I just shove a cookie in his mouth. Uh, that's better, but it's not lamb. It's just this <laughs> tiny cookie with so much talking. 
squirrel. I hand him a bag of cookies, but that's not a good talking way. tavern with lamb. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to my post, and once again, I would like to thank you, um, for just calming that mob down. You have my forever gratitude. Oh, we're happy to. Okay, Take so. <laughs> <laughs> Crisis averted through the power of divinity. <laughs> Just literally walk into a room with my astounding presence. All eyes on me. <laughs> I look at this as a victory against the Roll20 initiative tracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Fuck that thing. I, mm. ah! Gosh, <laughs> I was trying my best for most of the night. It was a wise use of of the f bomb, just in it, applying anything to roll twenty, really. Yeah. Uh, One of those these days, guys. we'll be able to monetize on YouTube. One of these days, <laughs> <laughs> one of the episodes will actually be able to make money. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're watching, please make sure to watch on Facebook or Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still have a ways to go on YouTube. So. Uh. You guys wander around town. You can. You're free to wander the town. Just you're not allowed to leave it for the time being. Okay. Um, if you want, we can also. You can head back to your uh, room and stay there for the evening. I uh, want to figure out what this thing is. Like, yeah, two well, things like, that I want to ask real quick. After we it. leave and part ways from the other Celestin, do I change colors? Um. When you are out of view from that Ceresin, all of a sudden, pff, you're Lavender again. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Uh, my second thing is, I think this also might be a good cutting point for the night, as I uh, could only imagine that Jez is probably exhausted, and Mars <laughs> maybe as well, from all in, your, in yourself as well, Dave, for the day, and then we could have this as a think tank to figure out what we're going to do for next week. Yeah. So, with that being said, before we stop for the evening... You you guys all go back to your rooms to rest up for the night so we can start Cheers the next day. Hey. Nico, Adita, and Theodora, please give me a wisdom saving throw. I can perform something. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you people! I can't. Uh, I just, just have to stay muted. So it took me this long to register that you just dropped another f bomb. Yeah, right. It took me a <laughs> which either says something about how frequently you do, or how frequently I hear it, or so. how tired I am. You Probably all wake up. Of the three. You all wake up the next day. Adita and Theodora, you both notice that on your body, you see some black blemishes that appear on your skin. Oh, wonderful. They do seem a little itchy. Mm hmm. And that's about it. I wash the crap out of myself. I mean, we're going to get the steel wool and scrub this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Ad Adita is going to come out of the washroom with her skin Just practically raw. red Ugh. from scrubbing. And on that note, everyone who came out to the stream today, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much. It really means a lot to me and to my adventurers here that we get to entertain you for just a little while. So hey. let's go ahead and go around because I believe a couple of people also have some of their own little announcements or other channels where you can see them. Let's start with Adita. You're first. Oh, hey. So, hi, guys. Yeah, I play Adita. Um, and... Uh, while I'm not a streamer like the rest of this party, you can definitely find me on Instagram at Tiny Amazon um, or on Fiverr for all your voice acting needs as at Tiny Amazon. All right, Nico. 
Well, uh, you guys can also find me. My name is Mars on Monday nights on the Disasters and Dangerous Games on Random Encounter Productions. That would be REP RPG. Uh, I know they have a lot of other stuff going on. Tonight's actually their Vampire the Masquerade night for those interested. That is currently streaming. Theodora. Uh, that's there. That's that's Nikos's. <laughs> Uh, I am Shadow Shura. I am a variety streamer, VTuber, and you can find me there. I just do a variety of things. I'll be streaming later on tonight if you're still going to be awake. So check her out. And Ceres. I'm Slavinus. You'll find me on uh, Renegade underscore Puff. I moderate his channel as well as do several charities with him at least once or twice a year, depending on what we're organizing. I also do a Monday night game called, with 3B Radio. It is currently uh, possibly going to be running into hiatus soon. So if you can check it out, I recommend getting in as soon as possible. All right. And with all that being said, don't forget to check out Roleplay Games on Twitch on youtube and on facebook we also have a discord man we're everywhere i'm just saying <laughs> and remember every single day do something for your mental health do something for your physical health like these uh, adventurers here you deserve to go on the great epic adventure that is known as life because life is a wonderful thing and it's so much better when you go with friends so take care of yourself we want to see you soon and until we meet again Always remember to <gasps> crit those gains. Hey. hey. And we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>